Hi, everyone. My name is Danielle. I'm coming to you from Florida. Um, I've always been a Republican until 2016. Um, when Donald Trump got the nomination, uh, I, like a lot of people from the tri-state area, being originally from New Jersey, knew that he's a con man and he's a criminal. Um, my family company was one of the many companies that helped build the Taj Mahal in Atlantic City. Uh, Trump did not pay my family's company $8 million. So I always remember going to New York and being like, Daddy, isn't that the guy that, you know, owed you the money? Um, he's pretty notorious in the tri-state area. So this whole thing that he's a great businessman has been a lie and he's a con man and he hurts other Americans. Um, I've also believed that he is mentally unfit. Um, he is a sociopath narcissist. Um, what he has done to our nation and gaslit us. We're at a point in COVID where we don't even know what to believe anymore. And he has undermined our legitimacy and our justice system. And, I went on to get a master's in international relations. And so I have an affinity to how the world views us and, you know, how we are as Americans. And it's been so embarrassing for the first time to be an American. I never voted for Barack Obama, but I was never embarrassed he was our president. I also never worried that he'd sell our state security, like our national security out. One of my biggest concerns is when Trump, Ivanka, Jared, all, you know, aren't in the White House anymore, hopefully for the love of God. Um, that they, you know, do you trust them to actually not sell our, our national security out to the foreign adversaries for money? Because I don't think he is rich, he's as rich as he leads to believe. Um, I think that as a nation, we need to reject this hate of Trumpism and this cultish demagogue of how people worship him because it is hate. And I think we need to choose America. I know we need to choose America and we need to heal all of our wounds and move forward.